First came Lalique Ange Noir. This is the bottle right here, and I love it. Later came Lalique Ange Noir Sport. This is the bottle, and I love it too. Finally came Lalique Ange Noir Alextreme. This one, I really love it. I'm going to talk to you about these three Lalique fragrances for men utilizing a dominant vetiver note and we're also going to do a giveaway of one of the bottles of your choice if you are a subscriber of this channel from the USA so please stay tuned Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So yes, La Lique Ange Noir is probably the very first, or one of the very first fragrances I sought out after and purchased dating back to the like the 2012 or early 2013 when I first got myself uh, into doing fragrance reviews. I have a review up that I did back on the old channel but I wanted to do a comparison video so I reached out to the folks at La Ligue and they sent me these three fragrances. I have one of the fragrances currently the uh, A La Extreme but it's almost uh, empty so I thought I do the comparison of the three in brand new uh, bottles. So La Ligue Saint Renoir was launched in 2006, the original one in the dark bottle here. That's the very first one I bought. I bought it because I love vetiver and I had worn Guerlain's vetiver back in the um, early 2000s. Uh, so, no, actually late, 19, late 90s actually. And I loved it, but I was looking for something different and everybody had a review up for this fragrance, all the YouTubers back then, and I said, you know what, I'm going to get one. I got one, started wearing it, immediately fell in love with it, and then gave it as gift to some folks because they're a very masculine but dark fragrance to wear, but I find that, that it was a perfect gift because the bottle was sexy, dark, square, and just a fragrance that I think is perfectly loved and utilizes a dominant note of vetiver but you only have a few uh, pretty much a few notes here you got cypress at the top vetiver in the heart and then in the base you got musk and cashmere wood it's a very very dark woody fragrance inky vetiver and if you like those kind of dark woody fragrances this is one you definitely have to try especially if you're new into the fragrance community and you like vetiver you like woody fragrances inky fragrances dark fragrances those kind of fragrances. This is created by Natalie Lorson, who uh, I really admire. She does some great, great uh, designer fragrances. And if you don't know the brand Lalique, uh, this is the box for Ancre Noir. The Lalique is right here. Lalique is a glassware crystals uh, designer. So this is definitely a designer. And probably you haven't seen clothing from Lalique because they don't make clothing, but they have glassware and things like that. So definitely a designer. So we have Lalique who makes some great, great fragrances. Awesome, awesome fragrances. And I think Lalique Ange Noir is probably their, one of their most popular fragrances. Or best, probably also best selling, at least in the community. And if you're just joining the community, Community, probably you'll you would have thought about ordering one if you haven't already ordered a bottle of La Ligue Ange Noir. I like this one a lot and I wore so much of it until the Sport and Al Extreme versions came out and I don't hate it it's a great great release it's a great vetiver and you can find deals for this one all over the place I'll have a link to uh, this fragrance in the info box you can check out uh, and order a bottle from uh, the folks uh, that sent me the fragrance themselves um, but uh, a great vetiver it's perfect to wear all year round it is a dark vetiver but I think it can be made bright during the summertime and uh, uh, springtime especially if you're looking for a darker vetiver fragrance but I find it to be very very perfectly suited for fall and winter wear awesome awesome release It's also very classy it is vetiver and it is masculine but women can totally pull this one off and you know uh, Ashley that's been on my videos she loves Ancre Noir it's one of her favorite favorite vetiver fragrances and she's absolutely in love with Lalique's Ancre Noir so that was the first one I bought in the series immediately was hooked was wearing it all over the place so even though Lalique Ancre Noir was launched in 2006 I bought my bottle in 2012 or 2013 
But in 2013, Lalique uh, launched Ange Noir Sport, this one right here. So this is a complete different take on Ange Noir. Um, it's not dark, even though it's vetiver. You don't have that dark inkiness. It's not weighty, heavy, woody. You've got great, great citrus, citrus notes in here. And the citrus note here is grapefruit. This grapefruit gives this fragrance this boost of energy, this uplifting vibe to it. it makes it very energetic and uh, uplifting and just very zingy that the, the vetiver becomes very, very bright. Even though there's vetiver here, a dominant note of vetiver, but it's very, very bright and easy to wear. Now this one actually kind of reminds me of Anique Goutal's discontinued men's vetiver although i don't know if it was men's probably unisex but most likely it was men's but that fragrance i absolutely love but that was pulled they no longer have it but if you've been a fan of that and you've been wanting a fragrance this one comes sort of close to it it's not identical uh, but it does come close close to it somewhat now for notes here you've got grapefruit Bergamot, nutmeg at the top. Cypress is still here from the previous version, the original La Ligue Ange Noir. Then you've also got added lavender and then some watery notes. And then also you've got vetiver, cashmere wood again, and musk in the base. So that watery note in here gives it a little bit of a salty touch to it, a watery kind of, almost like aquatic but it doesn't come off fishy, if that makes sense. So that is what reminds me of the, the connection of this fragrance to the Anique Goutal discontinued vetiver fragrance. Um, that watery saltiness. Then They're not identical, as I said, but I was a big fan of that one, and now I have it in here, in this version. But if you like this one and you've never tried it, I, I suggest you try it, especially if you want something lighter and brighter, easier to wear. Even though this is, or possible to wear this in the summertime I find this to be much much easier to wear in the summertime much easier to wear and you can do ample amounts of sprays with this one in the summertime whereas this one is so dark I would actually abstain from doing multiple sprays do a few this one is easier much much easier to wear and very very lovely very pleasant uplifting scent uh, even though it's better as I mentioned the other thing about this I want to point out is that word sport I personally don't think it fits the fragrance, but it's a mar it's it might be marketing that kind of thing because it I think the grapefruit does give it an, a sporty vibe, an energetic, zingy kind of uplifting vibe, but it's not really a sporty fragrance. I, I don't know. I, sport is sport fragrances in general are just marketing for me. Um, it doesn't really make sense to call something sporty, but that's just me. But check it out um, if you're turned off by that word sport don't dismiss this one it's really really good quality and i told you that it, it reminds me of that anik gutal discontinued vetiver it really does remind me of that one and just because of that it's got niche quality here as well so again once again this is created by natalie lorson and this came out in 2013 so check this one out as well and i'll have a link for this as well from the folks who sent me this, these fragrances so last but not least, what came out in 2015 was the master of them all. To me, I consider Lalique's Ange Noir à la Extreme to be the best of the three, the classier of the three. Even though I find these two to be very classy, I find this one to be ultra classy. And I also find this one to be similar to a fragrance that is a lot pricier. The fragrance I'm talking about is Chanel Sycamore. So that's a fragrance that's in the Chanel Les Exclusives or Les Exclusives collection. And it's a little hard to find or get, you know, find uh, in stores. Department stores don't sell them. These are all over the place. You can find them and you can find deals as well. well. And I'll have a link in the info box to, to where you can pick up a bottle as well. But this is very, very classy. Uh, dressy version of that Lalique Ange Noir. I mean, it's just totally, totally dressed up to the max. And I find this bottle to be very, very classy. Here's the difference between the two. And then let's add the three in there. Man, this is so good. This is so, so good. Once again, this is created by Natalie Lorson. Notes you have at the top, bergamot, elemi resin, cypress. In the heart notes, you've got vetiver, you've got orris root, and you also have incense. And in the base notes, you've got patchouli, sandalwood, and benzoin. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I find this to be the master of them all, just class all the way. 
Now, I've heard some people say it doesn't perform as well as it should be, and uh, I don't really care about that because it smells great. You can always replenish. It is a, it is a designer fragrance, but very, very niche quality to me. Um, very, very, just class all the way, master. Um, and the other thing I, uh, I like about this one is the fact that some people say there's oud in it. I don't find that at all, but I hear from all over the place that people say that there's oud in it or like something Middle Eastern, Arabic kind of inspired smell. I guess, I guess I could see that, but to me this really does remind me of Chanel Sycamore. Even though people say this reminds them of Chanel Sycamore, I, I, I know I can tell that, but this one is, even comes closer to it. So if you're a fan of Chanel Sycamore, you might want to try this one because this is an awesome, awesome release. Great, great designer release. It's amazing actually. Um, so what I like to wear, do is when I'm thinking of a no-nonsense kind of like I want vetiver a dark I go for this one when I want to overspray and I want vetiver and I want to wear it in the warm weather and then this is the one I go with the sport but when I'm going to like a dressier kind of occasion I want to dress up and feel classy and masculine this is the one I go with this is just absolutely gorgeous just just really really lovely and um, Ashley, my guest who has been on various uh, reviews and videos, really loves this one. She really loves these two and she really fell in love with this one. She said she was buying a bottle of this herself because she was out of it. I never got to uh, introduce her to this one, but I'm sure she would like this one too. But I think she's been a big fan of this one and she really liked this. So those are my impressions of these three. These are fragrances that I really love. Um, and when this first came out, I was in Europe looking around for this fragrance I couldn't find it anywhere so finally when I arrived in Paris I have a review of this one I think yeah you can check it out I have a review of this one um, when I arrived in Paris I went right to the Lalique boutique because I, I was looking around at the department stores there and I couldn't find it so I had to just go get it from Lalique boutique this was back in 2015 I think is when I first got it and I brought it home and I'm like, wow, this is so classy and I love it. It is a really, really classy fragrance. All three of them created by one of my favorite designer fragrance perfumers, um, Nathalie Lorson. And last but not least, I want to mention there is a fourth one also that I didn't request here because it is targeted to women. It's nothing like these uh, Ancrenoirs. There's Lalique Ancrenoir Pour Elle for women, I think it stands for. Um, but it's a rose actually, a rose with vetiver. To me that one kind of reminds me of Lyric Man from Amouage, but um, not identical. Um, I didn't want to do it, I didn't want to request that one because as I said it is for women. But these three are some of the classiest uh, men's fragrances from designers. Niche quality fragrances, all three of them, definitely niche quality. And if you're a lover of woody scents and vetiver fragrances, of course, you gotta, you gotta try these because they're definitely worth it, especially when you can find some deals for them. Last but not least, the giveaway. So the folks that sent me these fragrances are sponsoring a full bottle giveaway of your choice. All you have to do is let me know what your favorite current vetiver fragrance is. One. If you don't have a current favorite vetiver fragrance, let me know what is the fragrance that you've thought about getting as far as a vetiver fragrance goes. That's number one. Also, please let me know which of these fragrances sounds the best to you and which one you would like to win. And last but not least, please put your state as this is open to USA residents only. And that's it, guys. Good luck with the giveaway. And also, just let me know in general, are you a fan of this fragrance? Do let me know if you have any of these fragrances and if you wear them and you like them. Or also let me know if you just don't like vetiver fragrances or if you just don't like these fragrances. I'm sure there are people out there. Um, I really like them, but I'm sure somebody out there doesn't like them. But do tell me so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Yeah.